showing just a moment or so ago. We caught it on tape, conducted by referee Dixie Holman. Michigan won the toss, elected to receive. Here are deep men, Edwards and Carter. And there's the kickoff from wherever you are along our Mizzou television network. We bid you welcome. Excellent kick, no run back. Michigan starts in the 20. While we were discussing the matchups and giving you the necessary pregame information, I don't think I have ever seen what happened here at Lee Corso. We had the two coaches, Terry Donahue and Bo Schembechler, in the center of the field with the officials discussing the use of the 25-second clock. Now, we're not going to get into any detail about what the difference of opinion was or why or anything else, but I've never seen coaches that converse at all. That close to a kickoff, did you? It looked like the gunfight at OK Corral. <laughs> I tell you what, that was really something. All right, Michigan from the Michigan 20. At quarterback, the sophomore, Steve Smith. His tailback is Butch Wolfolk. Here is Wolfolk. About two yards. Butch Wolfolk, number 24, gained over 1,300 yards this season. Ray, that's the first time that they use the one-back offensive set that I've seen in a long time. Michigan primarily will be in an I formation. They immediately take out that second tight end, Dunaway, and they bring in the fullback, Stan Edwards, number 32. Wide receiver right is Carter. To the left is Vince Bean. The play gained a yard on first down, second down nine, Michigan. Whoop, there goes the right tackle. And there goes an elbow. Ed Moransky, the highly honored right tackle of Michigan. He's 6'7", 275 pounds, and when he jumped offside, he knocked half of the line back. He's one of the three All-American offensive linemen for Michigan. He moves the ball back to the Michigan 17-yard line. Back to the 17, five-yard illegal procedure from the 16-yard line of Michigan, second down, 14. There's Anthony Carter. Remember, every time he touches the football, he gains an average of 15 yards. And here comes Carter. Oh, there was a fake to Carter. And a keep by Wolf Oak and a first down. Now, there Lee, I guess, points out how much the opposition must be aware of just the threat of Carter. No question. I think one thing you'll study, if you would, about Carter. Here's the pitch out to Wolfolk. If he starts around the right end, everybody chases him. He'll make a nice fake to Carter right here and continue to run forward. Makes a good run. You ought to just check this, Ray. Every four times that Carter touches the football, he's averaged a touchdown. Third and four at the Michigan 26. Smith. Pollard for a loss. Vince Bean ran a deep look to me like a post pattern, but he was very well covered oh, by the UCLA secondary. They had very, very fine coverage on him. You notice they tried to go to Bean because they had double coverage on number one, Carter. That was Martin Moss who dropped Smith for the loss. It is punt formation time for Michigan. This means Don Bracken and for UCLA, Tom Sullivan back at the UCLA 36-yard line. Now, Bracken, an excellent punter, who one averages 43.8 yards per kick. And the one thing Michigan does, they lead the nation in net yardage. That means after the ball is kicked, how many yards he returns, right? They're still lead the nation. Excellent kick. No return. Sullivan fields it at the UCLA 30. We need him to have an opportunity to identify all of the performers for you. Now for UCLA, Tom Ramsey at quarterback. He is the second most productive quarterback in UCLA history. And right here in the Astrodome, in the Blue Bonnet Bowl, there is no score. We'll be back. The head man of UCLA. UCLA starts out of the I formation. Nelson, the deep back, the I back. Bruno, the fullback. Ramsey, the quarterback. Nelson, the sophomore, gets it up for about four yards to around the 34-yard line. Their bread butter is the same thing as uh, Michigan. It's the tailback is their number one ball carrier. Uh, he's the number one re uh, runner. He's had 850 yards this year, and 90% of the time he's going to run the football. Wide to the left is Carney, number 83, and Consul, number 26. The man in motion was Curran. And a 
First down run for the tailback, Kevin Nelson. Howard? Howard Davis. 25 second clock controversy. If you can see the clock behind me, it is stable at 25 seconds. Bo Schembechler, the head coach at Michigan, denied the use of the 25 second clock. He said he did not receive a letter implying that they were going to use the 25 second clock. Terry Donahue said he wanted the clock. Bo Schembechler wins round one early on. Referee Dixie Holman indicating a holding penalty, nullifying the run by Nelson. The ball back at the 24-yard line of UCLA. Second down, 16. Ramsey. It was nearly a fake. And a super play by Robert Thompson. You know, Robert Sr. out of Blue Island, Illinois. The quarterback will drop back and then he'll give it a little statue loot. This is an old-time play right here. But Thompson leads the team in his tackles for loss. Watch his quickness. He's a tremendous athlete. That's an old-time play called the Statue of Liberty. Tony Osmond was the first man to get to him. Third down. 23. No score, just underway from the Astrodome. Ramsey against a three-man rush. Incomplete. Be a a flag. I think hitting the receiver, intended receiver, out of bounds may have been called. Correct. You cannot touch the man once he goes out of bounds. Now, when a guy goes out of bounds, the, the play is over. Now, here's 80. Carney will stand right there, and he'll hit him after the play. Big penalty. Now, see, that's, that's what you call a costly penalty because they had stopped the UCLA football team. Now, they give them another opportunity. That was free safety, Tony Jackson, against whom the penalty was called. The ball comes out the UCLA 32-yard line. Now remember, this tonight has is a game with seven officials. After the ball, Wolverines are penalized 15 yards. So it is punt formation time for UCLA. Kevin Bonafide a punt. Anthony Carter is deep for Michigan. No score. 11 minutes left to play, first quarter. Uh-oh, watch out. Great distance back to the 19th yeah. of Michigan. Great Penalty break. flag goes flying. But that was excellent coverage of a punt that didn't have that much hang time. That's why I said, watch out. You've got to keep that ball high to Carter. You give him three opportunities like that, and I will guarantee you he'll go back faster than the white team can cover. But just blocking below the waist, that's a 15-yard penalty on the Michigan football team. A clipping penalty will move Michigan back very deep. Howard David? Ray, we talked at the top of the show about allowing you the fans to pick the number one team in America from among Georgia, Alabama, Nebraska, and Clemson. Number one in the voting thus far is Alabama with a little better than 2,000 votes. Georgia and Clemson have 1,700 votes. And uh, Nebraska right now is trailing with 1,400 votes. We'll be posting the numbers as we move along during the broadcast. Referee Dixie Holman indicates the clipping penalty against Michigan. The Wolverines will have it at their own 11-yard line when play resumes. Quarterback Steve Smith started to join the huddle. Now he realizes that we're going to have a timeout. Ten minutes, 56 seconds. Left to play first quarter in the Astrodome. Michigan has already drawn two big penalties and will return to the Astrodome. Michigan, first and ten, the Michigan 11-yard line. Steve Smith gives to Woolfolk. Good run. Picked up about six to seven yards off to around the Michigan 18-yard line. That's Michigan's best play. What they do on that when they give the ball to the they give the ball to the fullback, I mean to the tailback, and he reads the play. Watch it. They'll try to give it to him as far back as he can, and he runs for daylight. Made popular by Vince Lombardi, and he just smashes through. If UCLA does not stop that play, it's a long evening for them. Gain of a little better than six. Second down and about four. Well, they're going to the one setback now. Oh, my goodness. That was Martin Moss, number 55. The senior out of San Diego. 
it looks like UCLA has put in that Martin Moss because of his quickness. He just beat that offensive tackle to the jump. If you watch him number 55, he'll just pull, and he cuts in and knocks him down before he has a chance. It's a good thing he hit that Edwards quick, because that Edwards can run. Watch the quarterback a roll right, come back in a counter, and in comes that Moss with a great slant. A nice little blitz play right there. The loss brings up a third down seven at the Michigan 15-yard line. 9.43 left to play first quarter. No score. The Blue Bonnet Bowl of Houston, Texas. High formation. Here's the rush. Oh, Smith with an escape act on a first down. Steve Smith, who, by the way, is the second leading runner for Michigan. Now watch, the quarterback will come back here. He sees a blitz, and he, this is a design play by Michigan. You see how he's coming back? Right there, ladies and gentlemen, you can't coach that. Steve Smith breaks one tackle. He's got four or five speed. He ran away from that one guy and breaks it for a great run. That kid's a great national athlete, Steve Smith. First down, first first down of the game. It's a Michigan 23. Carter left, Bean to the right. Smith again, escapes the rush, drills it. Incomplete. Tried to hit Edwards coming out of the backfield, the senior out of Detroit. Edwards is a second-team All-Big Ten football player, and I know from personal example against Indiana, he beat us with the pass receiving court just like that. Michigan's interior linemen, Harris, Humphreys, Dixon, Becker, Moransky. Norm Betts, the tight end. Anthony Carter and Vince Bean or Fred Brockington have been used so far as the wide receivers. Now, Woolfolk is out of the game. Edwards is a lone setback. The additional tight end is Dunaway, number 88. Second and 10, Michigan 23. Edwards to about the 27-yard line. It's interesting, you know, that the UCLA plan right now is they're playing one-on-one -on -one coverage with Carter. I would expect sooner or later a bomb to that guy. The nose guard, Carl Morgan, made the tackle right now on that play. Eatman, 75, Morgan, 40, Gary or Moss. That's the front threesome for UCLA. The linebackers are Clemens, Montgomery, Butler, and Gordon. Turner and Lang at the corners. Sullivan, the strong safety. Rogers, who led the team in tackles during the regular season, the free safety. They have Larry Thomas in the secondary now. Steve Smith. Smith is about a yard short of a first down. What UCLA did that time, Ray, is they brought in six. They brought in six defensive backs. Now this is a planned run. Watch the quarterback. He's not throwing. This is a toss sweep. You'll see Woolfolk and Evers in front of him. Makes a good break in there. Gets a good block by Becker and he goes down the field, but not quite enough. It is punt formation time. No score. 758 left to play. First quarter. Don Bracken. Thermopolis, Wyoming, who averages almost 44 yards per punt. His first one in this game, there was no return. He had tremendous hang time. That's too much time, a penalty, a five-yard penalty. UCLA will have Tom Sullivan, Jr., out of Northridge, California, back as a return man. Lewis Shockley, I hope I pronounced his name correctly, is the umpire tonight. The other officials are Bob Jones, Charles Caraway, George Flatke, offense, J.D. Rowland, Dan Wilford, all the officials from the Southwest Conference. Another fine. Remember, fine. we want to count how many yards he gets. That's why they lead the nation. Beautiful coverage of that punt by the special team. Might even have been minus yardage that time. <laughs> Seven minutes, 26 seconds left to play in the first quarter. The Blue Bonnet Bowl in the Astrodome in Houston. There is no score. We wish he's throwing and, oh, couldn't quite get it to Cormac Carney. Good rush put on that time by Al Simpson, the nose guard. He's a young freshman from Cleveland, Ohio, that moved in. You know that, that Michigan has had five different nose men during the season. It had some very big injuries. Now, you watch this nose man, 53. They also blitz the linebacker, number 63. Puts pressure on the quarterback, and he cannot deliver to Carney. Good pass rush. UCLA changes wide receivers to Kaufman and Curran on second and 10 at the UCLA 33. Ramsey. 
tried to get it to his fullback, Frank Bruno. UCLA so far unable to pick up a first down. 7-13 left to play first quarter, and there's no score. It looks like both teams are trying to feel each other out. Doesn't you, Ray, that, uh, you know, they're trying a little bit of this to end around here and a little Statue of Liberty. It looks like they're going to have to get back to a basic attack and try to establish something. It is now third and ten for the Bruins at the UCLA 33. Starting wide receivers are back in, Carney and Tunsil. Four-man rush. Whoa. Now that pattern was cut off by Jojo Tunsil. Ramsey thought he was going to go deep. It looked like what they were trying to do, they were reading the defensive coverages. And, and uh, I, for most of the time, quarterbacks under pressure like that will throw the ball away, and that's a good idea because this kid could punt the ball. Bonafide to punt. Carter stands back at the Michigan 30-yard line. Seven minutes to play, first quarter, and no score, no threat of a score. Left-footed kicker, there's another beautiful run. Wow, Carter all the way back at the 11-yard line. And good coverage by UCLA. Looks like it's going to be a great game of field position, and... Uh, the left-footed punter has got that ball going, and Carter looks like he's had a problem looking into the light, but UCLA's got great coverage. So the Wolverines, led by their sophomore quarterback, Steve Smith, will start at the Michigan 23-yard line. Butch Wolfolk, number 24, the senior tailback out of Westfield, New Jersey. Sam Edwards, number 32, the senior fullback out of Detroit. The wide receivers, Vince Bean out of Southfield, Michigan, and Anthony Carter of Riviera Beach, Florida. High formation. Wolfolk. 40. All the way down to the 25-yard line of UCLA. Wolfolk is the lead receiver. They're like two dirt. key guys. Number 86, Butler. And then watch him get cut down right there. Good blocking. Butler gets blocked. Now watch this. This is where this kid's a world-class sprinter. He outruns the defensive back and takes off. Dirt caught him. Might have prevented a touchdown. Michigan, the first threat of the game. First and 10, UCLA 25-yard line. 6.24 to play scoreless first quarter. Wolfolk again. Be another first down. Remember now, we're looking at a runner who gained over 1,300 yards this season. Now you watch the quarterback automatic display. He's telling the direction. He gives the ball deep enough to 24. Becker, the All-American, gets a nice block there. He avoids one. Notice the block by 27 being down the field. That gave him the extra yardage. Strong safety. Tom Sullivan made the tackle at the 13-yard line of UCLA. It's a Michigan first down. Carter comes left, Bean goes to the right. It's the same eye formation with a tight end set on the left side. I believe that was Don Rogers, the, yes, Don Rogers, the free safety, made the tackle on Lawrence Rick, a junior substitute for Woolfolk. Ricks out of Barberton, Ohio. What they do with Ricks, they bring him in to give a Wolfolk a rest. He's averaged 5.8, plus he's got to be a favorite of Bo Shev, like he's from the same hometown. Defensive change and defensive left tackle. Gary gives way to Martin Moss. That last play gained three, second and seven at the UCLA 10-yard line. As we look at Carter to the right, 46 is the tailback, Ricks. And we might have had a delay of game. college football you have 25 seconds to get the ball in play sometimes when you have a substitution like Michigan did when they brought in the second end you do not get it off in 25 seconds there is your opportunity to vote for your choice of the number one team in the country and the phone numbers to call the call costs 50 cents the legal procedure that's too much time 
that's the way it stands. That's the place to vote. Second down, 12, 16 yard line of UCLA. This is for Carter. There was a super defensive play. Mike Durden, who caught Wolfo from behind on the run lead. Well, Carter, Carter will fake his favorite post when he's running out, sir, but watch this great anticipation. Carter almost has that 29 comes up. Now, 29 was not a starter throughout the season. He's new in there. The junior out of La Mesa. It sets up a third and 12 at the 16-yard line of UCLA. Bo Schembechler looks on from across the way here in the Astrodome. No score as Smith fades the pass. Third and long. Remember, he's a great runner. Short of a first down. Wolf Oak, the tailback. Caught the pass. Short of a first down. UCLA had very good pressure on that time, and they also covered very well under. But they had man-for-man -man coverage on all the short receivers, and he had to go to his tailback. Now let's see how Michigan has done in the way of field goal kicking. I hope I pronounced this young man's co name correctly. Haji Sheik. Six of 11 field goals. This will be an attempt of 24 yards from the right hash mark. Four minutes left first quarter. No score yet. Boy, there's a strong leg. And Michigan is on the board. The clock shows three minutes and 59 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Michigan's Wolverines are on the board first. Michigan three, UCLA nothing. Will return turned out to be the only score of the game so far. The field goal. Butch, Wolfo. You notice, Ray, that at the ball game, at the beginning of the ball game, I mentioned that they must control that awful rush, awesome rushing attack in Michigan. This kick will be handled by Council a yard deep in the end zone. Five, ten. Short of the 20-yard line. Once again, Michigan's, in this case, kickoff team does an excellent job of covering the kick. The kicking game will decide 80% of the ball game, especially with two fine football teams like these two men. Now, UCLA has been unable to get anything started in the way of an offense so far, but their season's record would indicate it's just a question of time. They have a great ability to move the football. Carney and Consul are wide to the left. checked into the game. Great pursuit by the uh, Michigan defense, particularly board number 40 and Gargax number 50. Their linebackers are their key to their defense. Speed has also been Bo Schembechler's number one prerequisite to play Michigan defense. No gain on that last play thanks to that good Michigan defense. Second down 10, UCLA 16. Current in motion. This is Moorhead. Struggling out to about the 20-yard line for four yards. It'll be third and six. Late first quarter. Less than three minutes will remain when center Dave Odie snaps the ball to Tom Ramsey, the other interior lineman from UCLA. Malstead, Jolly, Odie the center, Yellett, and Sharp. The tight end, Jim Reitman, honored to so many times this year by various postseason teams. He's on the left side. This is a third and sixth play for UCLA. Ramsey being rushed. Penalty flag down. Two, three flags down. Michigan team had very, very good coverage that time. The secret to the pass defense is an excellent pass rush. Don't give the quarterback much time. The preliminary signal indicates the infraction by UCLA. Holy, Holy. by the offense. Penalty refused. Fourth down. UCLA still without a first down. And it's punt formation time. Well, you 
UCLA's problem right now is that they're trying to grab back. You know what I'm talking about? They're playing a here and a there. They've got to try to establish something, go back to what they do the best, and don't worry about Michigan. Bonafide a punt. Carter to accept the punt at the Michigan 35-yard line. Just two and a half minutes left to play first quarter. 3-0 Michigan. Carter at the Michigan 36. Gets about a nine-yard run back. Carter averaged 15 yards of punt return during the regular season. Other events coming up on our Miss Lou Television Network from Hilton Head, South Carolina. Ladies Professional Golf, the CPC Tournament. On a Sunday in April, first down, Michigan at the Michigan 45-yard line. Now, Michigan's got good field position for what they like to do. They like to run the football, and they will continue to run it until UCLA stops it. Bean goes to the wide side of the field, covered by Jimmy Turner. Carter to the left side. Gets it most a yard or so to the 46 or 7 yard line. You'll see the quarterback. I think every once in a while you get a great shot of Steve Smith on the line of scrimmage, barking out the signal. Give Wolfolk a yard, second down nine, Michigan 46 yard line. This is Wolfolk. Short of a first down, gets it just across the 50 where Michigan will have a third and about five. That's big. Now, Howard David. Ray, our college football number one team in the nation, the fans poll going on right now as I'm looking at the totals. Right now we show Georgia with 7,500 votes, Alabama with over 10,000, Nebraska with a little better than 6,000, Clemson with 7,500. There are the numbers that you can call to vote for your favorite team to be the nation's number one team by the fans' choice. Raymond? For Michigan, third down and five. Carter is wide to the right. Will UCLA put a rush on Smith? Here they come. He's going deep for Carter. Carter. That ball to Root. All right. 50 yards. Now, do they have single coverage on him, Lee? Absolutely. What UCLA did that time is they tried to rush the, the passer. Now, you, now, watch. There's only one man. There's no way that one man can stop that guy. 29, 39, 49. The guy just runs right past him. He catches it, and he's on his way. Now, believe me, I don't know how many times he touched the ball, but I bet you he didn't touch the ball more than four times in line of scrimmage. He averages scoring one every four times he touches the football. <laughs> Ali Haji Sheik will try for Michigan's 10th point with exactly one minute left to play in the first quarter. Whoops. Or a false move by an offensive lineman. No, by the defense. You know, Ray, and I touched down pass right there. UCLA took a calculated risk. There's nothing wrong with that. If you could have got to the quarterback, it would have been a great play. But they didn't. Quarterback B.J. Dickey is the holder. Oh, what a strong way. Whew. That hit the hot dog man in the corner, didn't it? Well, Michigan's lead is up to 10 to nothing. Howard David, I believe you have a special guest with you. Yeah, Ray, uh, I've got uh, Darrell Reitzel, who's a sales representative with the Citizens Watch Company. Carol, you turn around over here, and we'll get a good look at you. Good look. Has been un unable to generate any offense so far. Deep for UCLA. They'll have two 
return men. Council for one and Willie Curran for another. Curran is number 18, one of the wide receivers. Jojo Council, the other one. American Football Coaches Association is considering a new rule to kick the ball off from the 35-yard line. And most of us who have got great, great kickoff return people like that rule. The ones that don't are going to vote against it. So UCLA with Tom Ramsey, who is, I mentioned a little bit earlier, the second most successful passer as measured by yards passing in UCLA history. Junior out of Granada Hills will try and get something going for UCLA. The Bruins still without a first down from the Bruins 20 yard line. Console in motion. Warming Michigan defense. Tailback Burness Scott, a freshman from Linwood, California. It looks like that uh, UCLA has tried to attack the flanks or going outside against Michigan. Found out they were so quick and decided to run right at them, which might not be a bad strategy right now. Now UCLA will change tailback. They'll go back to their sophomore starter, Kevin Nelson. They bring in wide receiver Ricky Kaufman. Kaufman wide to the right. The last play game three, second and seven at the UCLA 23-yard line. To the 26-yard line goes the sophomore Nelson, where UCLA, looking for its first first down of the game, will have a third down and four. Nelson has been hurt most of the year, Ray, and this is his first time I think he's been healthy in a long time. Caraway, Sinsit, and Osmond, the front three for Michigan. The linebackers are Thompson, Deergash, Boren, and Needham, Burgai, and Carpenter at the corners, Jackson and Bostick, the safety men, and we have reached the end of the first quarter. From the Blue Bonnet Bowl, in the Astrodome, in Houston, Texas, Michigan's fans have much to cheer about. The Wolverines are leading by a score of 10 to nothing. And the Michigan swarming defense has held UCLA without a first down. We'll return to the Astrodome 26 yard line. Ramsey, Ramsey. Gets about a yard, that's all. UCLA still without a first and 10. Is that Michigan secondary doing that good of a job covering Lee? Absolutely, they're covering him man for man and they're putting a lot of pressure on the quarterback. Third down and six has been the key down for UCLA and they have not been able to deal with Michigan's quickness. Watch out. Carter back at the Michigan 23. Watch out. Penalty flag. I think they're going to call a clip. Yeah. Hey, isn't he? I mean, what? I get it. You should be on the sideline to watch that guy, Ray. I'm telling you, he is really excited. Number one is a football player. yard clipping penalty will move the ball back to the Michigan 16 yard line as indicated by the total yardage so far Michigan 159 and UCLA just eight that's how effective the Michigan defense has been and the Wolverines start from their own 15 yard line Bean comes right Carter goes out to the left working against cornerback Walter Lang the junior out of Miami Florida the single setback is Edwards. Edwards, short yardage, runs into Martin Moss. Number 55. Michigan has taken Wolfolk out at times.
folks, the tailback on a little delay gets it out to the 20-yard line. Michigan will be faced with a third and five at that point. As Carl Morgan, the junior nose guard out of Homa, Louisiana, made the tackle. And from the sideline, with the play selection, comes Craig Dunaway, a tight end, junior, out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He's going to replace Woolfolk. So Michigan goes with two tight ends, two wide receivers. Edwards, the lone setback behind Steve Smith on third and five at the Michigan 20. Oh, that was almost picked off. It was almost intercepted by Lang, tipped by Tom Sullivan. Howard David, have you moved positions? Where are you here in the Astrodome? Ray, we're on the other side, on the Michigan side of the field, opposite of the press box. And Lee Corso can probably best identify with that Anthony Carter touchdown reception. The play was called from upstairs. It was just a straight fly pattern, and Anthony was wide open for 50 yards. One other point. Isn't it amazing that of the two penalties for delay of game that have been called thus far, they have both been called on Michigan, and Bo Schembechler did not want a 25-second clock. Tom Sullivan back to receive Bracken's punt. Not too much hang time. This could be a pretty good position here for UCLA. Now UCLA is at the Michigan 48-yard line. Good position. 12-34 left to play. First half. Michigan leading by 10 to nothing. Now, do you think that UCLA might uh, go to the pass on first down conceivably with this good field position? It looks like he might mix them up, Ray. Very good. 10 nothing Michigan. We'll return to the Astrodome, 45 to the 43-yard line. Kevin Nelson, the sophomore tailback from Los Angeles. You'd like to vote for which team? Number one, those are the numbers. It'll cost you 50 cents. All area code 900. Then a different final four digits. Actually, the fourth from the last digit is different in each case. The ball goes back to the UCLA 42-yard line. First down, 20, UCLA 42. JoJo's console up wide to the left. Ramsey. picked off by free safety Tony Jackson, the Cleveland, Ohio senior, number 37. Michigan has just done an excellent job of stopping what during the regular season was a very potent UCLA offense so far. At that Houston, time, they had the free safety in the area in the middle try to pick off that ball. Very, very fine defensive strategy. Eight total yards for UCLA. 164 for Michigan. Wide to the left is Willie Curran. Second and 20. UCLA 42. A little delay. Frank Bruno now is going to check in at fullback and replace Frank Cephas, who carried on the last play. Third down, 18. UCLA 44-yard line, early second quarter, Michigan leading, 10 to nothing. The touchdown, a picture-perfect pass from Smith to Carter. Look out! Ben Needham, number 97, from his outside linebacker spot. Drops Ramsey. Right. Watch the, the player that causes this is number 13, the strong safety. The strong safety is blitzing. They picked him up, and Needham got him from the blind side. Great defensive call. So there's the uh, exciting young man who caught the 50-yard touchdown pass, Carter. Line drive punt. Carter with a lot of room to maneuver now. But good coverage. And there goes a flag. Just as Carter was hit, a flag went fly. Do you have an update on our voting for the number one team, Howard? 
As a matter of fact, we do, Ray. Alabama still leads with 17,600-plus votes. In second place, as the latest total is coming over, is 13,000 votes for Georgia, 12,000 for Clemson, and only 10,500 for Nebraska, who many people feel might very well be the best team in America. So keep the votes coming, and be sure to dial the numbers that are posted to vote for your favorite team. Okay. It would appear that Michigan is going to draw yet another penalty. UCLA right now is absolutely zero in yardage. Well, that sometimes will happen to you, particularly if you're playing a team with great speed like, like Michigan. By the receiving team during the run back. First down, 10. I believe that's a second clipping penalty against Michigan. Back at the 13-yard line, the Wolverines will try to get something going as they lead UCLA by 10 to nothing. Picks up about 13 yards on first down, gets it out to the 26-yard line of Michigan. You'll see the offensive line just blow the team off the ball. Wolfo gets the ball deep again. He runs to daylight. They're getting a great block there by Becker, who they consider the best All-American guard they've ever had at Michigan. 65, Becker. Wide receiver Vince Bean is replaced now. Michigan goes to two tight ends, Dunaway and Betts. Overthrowing Carter, and the flag goes down as a big rush was put on Steve Smith. Holding Michigan. Pass was incomplete. It'll either be second down and 10 or first and long, depending on the decision by UCLA. And a very relaxed Bo Schembechler looks on. Total offense by Michigan, 176 yards, five first downs. UCLA has not been able to pick up a first down. UCLA accepts the penalty. For Michigan, it'll be first and 20. First and, and 27. Holding offense, still first down. Betts, the starting tight end, goes to the sideline. Vince Bean will replace him. So Bean and Carter are the wide receivers. Dunaway, the tight end, on the left side. Edwards, the fullback. Wolfolk, the tailback. First and 27. Wide run. Wolfolk gets it out to the 20. Picks up about 10 yards, and it'll be second down. 17, where Don Rogers, who led UCLA and tackles during the regular season, made the back in. Watch Becker, number 65, makes a good block. It's again giving the ball to Wolfolk deep, and he makes a good run. He's got great speed. And you know, the thing about this young man, he's six feet two, 208 pounds. He's not a small running back. Fred Brockington comes in as a wide receiver to the right on second down 17. Smith, a lot of time. Carter going high into the air and a fine catch in front of Walter Lang. The quarterback will roll back. Now Carter's got this number two, and you can imagine this. He's got Lang a little afraid to go deep. They watch a little fake, head, shoulder fake, and watch him concentrate. Looks the ball right into his hands. Great play. That's interesting. Two of those, both those kids are from Florida. Quarterback Smith, the kid from Michigan, drills the ball and watch the concentration. He looks the ball right into his hands and Lang makes a good play. Result, third and two and a half for a first down at the Michigan 34. 8.53 left to play, first half. Wolfolk gets the first down. Michigan leading 10 to nothing. UCLA held without a first down in the first quarter and almost seven minutes here in the second quarter. Wolfolk now will give way a tailback to Lawrence Ricks. First down at the Michigan 42-yard line. Carter comes out wide to the right. This is 
Ricks. Are they setting this up with that little bit of a delay like to that tailback? Well, what happens is the reason why that play is, go is going so well, Michigan's line is so big. They're 6'7", 270, 6'6", 260, 6'7", 275, and they stand up and scream the defensive man, and the by the time the guy sees who's got the ball, he's gone. Gain of four yards, second down, six at the Michigan 46. Eight minutes left, first half. Smith taking short. He's going for Carter. In pursuit, that was Tom Sullivan, the strong safety, with just about a yard overthrown. Howard, he has some new totals for it. Ray and our fan, you pick the number one team of the nation, Paul. Alabama still leads with over 21,000 votes. Georgia is second with 16,000 votes. Clemson, 15,000 votes. And Nebraska, six-yard line. Here comes the pressure. Now that ball was deflected and almost picked off by linebacker Doug West, a sophomore out of Del Mar, California. Fourth down, punt formation time for Michigan. UCLA had excellent pressure on the quarterback time, and he knocked his timing off, and that was a good defensive play. Bracken to punt. UCLA has no return yardage so far on punts. Out of bounds, inside the 20. Last time UCLA had possession, they had still no for during the regular season. Quarterback Tom Ramsey was a near 60% passer for over 1,600 yards. Michigan's defense has held UCLA without a first down. That's go right there. Cormac Carney out of Long Beach finds an open spot in the Michigan secondary. First down at the UCLA 31-yard line. You'll see this time, you'll see the short corner, number 15, Blitz, and they leave an open area in there. Number three, Nelson picks him up. Carney, good play. Michigan took a chance and Blitz. First down at the UCLA, 31-yard line for the Bruins. Current in motion. Might have been a loss of a yard for Kevin Nelson. Waiting for him, big number 78, Tony Osmond senior tackle out of Kenton, Ohio. Osborne was an offensive tackle, but this year they made him a defensive tackle. And he's playing very well. Cormac Carney replaces Ricky Kaufman at wide receiver. UCLA, second down 11 at the UCLA 30. 6.40 left to play first half. The clock running. 10-0 Michigan leading here in the Blue Bonnet Bowl. Three-man rush. Good protection. There's his tailback, Nelson, and close to a first down out around the 41-yard line. Defending was cornerback Watch the quarterback set Bode. back. He's really, really in great shape in here, and he hits the, the tailback, number three, Nelson, coming out of the backfield. Ben Needham does not have the speed to cover Nelson. Good play. Measurement for the down. UCLA now generating a bit of offense. Back to back first down. Plenty of time left here in the first half. Isn't that something? Will you marry me? My goodness. I wonder if we can have them let us know how they make out, whether she accepts. First down UCLA at the Bruins 41 yard line. Ramsey on first down. Oh, he's open right there. Carney. First down of the Michigan 42-yard line. That pass was beautifully thrown. Car Carney makes a great play here. He comes down the line of scrimmage. You see the Michigan people playing man for man. And all he slips behind one guy. Great throw. Let me tell you something. That was as good a throw as been thrown tonight right there. First down, UCLA at the Michigan 42-yard line. 6.21 left to play, first half. Michigan leading 10 to nothing. Current in motion. Penalty flag down as... Frank Bruno goes up the middle. But a 
flag remember down offside ah Michigan offside so the run will stand a good run by Bruno during the regular season Bruno the second leading runner carried 73 times for about a 3.6 yard average Listed as one of the strongest football players on the entire team. The gain that time from the Michigan, from about the 42 to the 35, so UCLA will have a second and three at the Michigan 35 yard line. Now, this is the deepest penetration for UCLA. Until this drive started, UCLA had no yardage. Offside defense, still first down. UCLA accepts the penalty. First and five at the Michigan 37. And Carney checks in instead of Mike Young at wide receiver. Carney and Curran are both to the short side, the left side. Curran in motion. Michigan player grabbed that tailback from behind. That was a good play. Al Sinsich, among others. The heart of the Michigan defense is a nose tackle Sinsich. He's a freshman, but a very fine and quick football player. He puts a lot of pressure on him. Second down and five at the Michigan 38. Just over five minutes now left to play in the first half. And Tim Reitman is on the right side. Nelson. Good run. First down just inside the UCLA 30. There was a good call and good execution as Kevin Nelson picks up another first down. The quarterback automatics is ball set 62 and Jolly 76. Do a great job of getting the lineman into the face of the Michigan people. He cuts. It's exactly the same play that Michigan runs. It's the key play in the I formation. Keith Bostick made the tackle, but not before. Nelson picked up a first down at the Michigan 30-yard line. Less than five minutes now to play in the first half. Michigan leading 10 to nothing. Quick burst by the fullback, Frank Bruno. And about a four-yard gain plus. Now mixing up its plays very, very well. They're attacking number 53, Sinich, right at him, not trying to run away from him, and obviously having some success. Gain of four, second and six, the Michigan 26. Clock continues to run with 4.20 now left to play in the first half. Split back. to hit Ricky Kaufman deep in the left corner of the end zone. So delay of game will make it second down and about 11. Howard David, have you uh, picked up some information along the way? Ray, if UCLA has to kick a field goal, Norm Johnson's field goal capability is 65 yards and in. If Norm Johnson has to kick a field goal, his range is 65 yards and in. And he said the short distance to the short size of the uprights doesn't bother him that much. Second down, 11 after that five-yard penalty. Curran goes in motion. Ramsey. His arm was hit. Intercepted by Paul Geargash, Lakewood, Ohio, junior linebacker. Ramsey's arm was hit. Number 97. Needham will come back, make a good run, put the pressure on. He runs right over. Now, Gurkag makes a great interception right here, but watch this young man. He's considered the strongest man and best conditioned man on the Michigan team under 220 pounds. So the turnover. 
Waltz, a promising UCLA drive. It's first of the game. Michigan has the ball. And we'll be back. In a play where he'll fake the ball to Edwards and follow him through. I think they were, he was more concerned about the UCLA pressure coming from the outside. Two substitutes coming onto the field now. Butch, Wolfolk, their super tailback. Places Rick. Carter goes to the left, working against Mike Durden, the cornerback on that side. Second down, nine. Do we have a delay of game? Boy, that was a great shot by our cameraman showing the automatic system of the Michigan football team. He was calling out a number and a color and telling him what he wanted done, but he didn't do it in 25 seconds. And that's the penalty. Number 65. Becker asking the referee about that. Delay penalty. of game. Offense. So the ball goes back to the Michigan 15-yard line. There's a penalty on both. Aha. Uh -huh. Remember now, before the game started, we had a discussion between the coaches and the officials about the 25-second clock. going to go into detail because we are not that certain as to why the difference of opinion. We were told it was because Bo claimed he had not received a letter telling him about the 25 second clock. Whatever. The ball goes back to the Michigan seven yard line. Let's see what referee sportsman like conduct against the bench. Referee Dixon Holman saying unsportsmanlike conduct against the bench. The ball is back at the Michigan seven-yard line. We should say that these officials now are not from either conference. Correct? Southwest Conference officials. Second down, 23. 244 left to play first half. 10 nothing. Michigan leading. The touchdown was on a textbook pass to Carter. Wolfolk. And somebody got an arm out. I think Martin Moss, the defensive tackle, that might have prevented a long run by the Michigan tailback. If UCLA can contain Michigan and hold Michigan to short yardage on this next play, UCLA could have pretty decent field position, although just over two minutes remain to be played in the first half. Dunaway goes to the sidelines. Norm Betts will be the tight end on the right side. Bean is off to the left. Carter off to the right. Here comes Wolfolk. Oh, what a great play. That's Martin Moss again. He has been outstanding. Number 55, the senior out of San Diego. Fourth down. He's been their leading pass rusher, but I'll tell you what, he's playing great football now, number 55. And what's happening now in the ball game is that Jerry Downey, who has done a great job, he'll want to get something on that school board. Michigan 40. Excellent run back all the way to the Michigan 30-yard line. And just now, there goes a penalty flag from behind the play. The flag landed at the Michigan 20. Let's see what we have. Now, one of the players leaving the field for UCLA signal that the penalty was against Michigan, but we shall see. Defensive back Mike Dirt signal that was against the Wolverines. Ball spotted at the Michigan 30, between the 31 and 32 yard line. Clock shows 143 left. A personal foul against Michigan. Very interesting. I'm not, I'm not sure Bo will vote for those seven officials. Do you think so? Remember, there's an additional <laughs> official here tonight. I think he might be the guy causing all the problems. <laughs> so UCLA at the Michigan 17-yard line. Tom Ramsey now comes off the chain from the sidelines. The last time Ramsey took the...
the Bruins deep into Michigan territory, but his arm was hit by linebacker Mike Limeran, and the pass was picked off by linebacker Paul Geargash. Now, UCLA, first and 10 at the Michigan 17. 143 left to play, first half. 10 nothing Michigan. This is Nelson. And a great play by strong safety Keith Bostick. Boy, that was a fine play. Bostick's an all, uh, all Big Ten player on the second unit. Now watch Bostick, number 13. He'll come in here and strip the defense, and he makes a great play behind the line of screaming. Ooh, great play. Loss of the play, four yards. Second down, 14. The clock continues to run. 1-10 left in the half. Complete at the 11-yard line to wide receiver Jojo Council, number 26. There he is, sprinting out to the left. UCLA with its hurry-up offense, no huddle. But we have timeout. The Bruins versus the quarterback being chased by Sinks is again. The freshman doesn't quite get him. You notice this new rule that you can see the picture in the right-hand corner. The entire Michigan team is around the coaching staff. That's a new rule put in this year, and it's a very, very good rule. They're talking about what they want to do defensively over there. Do you make use of it at Indiana, Lou? Yes, sir. We bring them over there once in a while. Some of them don't want to go back in. That's our uh -huh. only problem. But okay. Just, I tell you what, this is a very, very interesting point for Terry Donahue here. He's got to make the right decision, but whatever he does, I will guarantee you one thing. He's going to want three points, if nothing else. Total yardage right now. Total offense. Michigan 208. UCLA 58, but Michigan only leads by 10 to nothing. A 50-yard pass to Carter and a field goal by Haji Sheik. Third and four, UCLA. 55 seconds left to play first half. Ball at the Michigan 11-yard line. Three-man rush. Threw it away. Smart quarterback. He saw nobody open. He did not want to risk an interception. This way, UCLA can still get on the board. I'd be willing to bet you that that was the last thing Terry Donahue told him. If the guy's not open, I want to see it hit that, uh, I don't know what they call that. 28-yard attempt. UCLA? Correct. It, it, basically, that should not hurt that uh, kicker much because five yards is not going to make the difference. So it'll be about a 33-yard attempt now. Johnson's 14 for 19 right now, right, Ray? Right. New Heisel, the holder. they try to get one long one but see the thing it's like it's almost like a heavyweight fight where one guy's been knocking the guy around the ring but the UCLA is still in this ball game there's no question they can come back and win it so Steve Smith the sophomore this is Wolfolk he's having himself another outstanding evening and there goes a flag right there that long after the tackle was made Beats Butch Walfalk to tailback again. The quarterback will come back and give the ball to him as deep as possible. The linemen screen everybody else, and the reason why this play worked is because UCLA was afraid of a long pass and had everybody loosened up. Against UCLA to the Michigan 47. Four. 
after the play was over. Personal foul by the defense. Thank you. Thank you, you good folks at the Blue Bonnet Bowl for that welcome for those of us with those of us with the Mizlou Network. Well, Michigan decides that they maybe will try to put something on the board after that good run and the follow-up penalty. 31 seconds still remaining in the half. I believe that was Michigan's first time out. Correct. Michigan's strategy has always been in the past to either give the ball to Woolfolk and then call a timeout or throw the ball to Carter. At one time in my situation with Michigan, with six seconds left of the goal in the ball game, they threw a 50-yard touchdown pass to Carter. They are still very dangerous in this position because of Carter's speed. So Michigan has two timeouts remaining. 31 seconds showing on the clock. Carter is wide to the left. Now he draws attention at the line of scrimmage and also by strong safety Tom Sullivan has drifted over that way. Smith. He's down to the 40-yard line. 21 seconds left in the half. Quarterback Smith will roll back. He fakes the ball to Wolf out. He's trying to get the ball to Carter, but he can't. But this young man has got four or five speed and is a great runner. Great presence. And he continues to move down the field and makes the first down. Bo Schembechler is frantically trying to get his players to get Sullivan and Lang. He draws double coverage. They better put another guy over there. showing on the clock remaining in the half. Earl Beatman, number 75, is an outstanding football player from the state of Ohio. We apparently are going to have... Here's that last play. Right, the quarterback goes back and fakes again, but he can't see anybody. He's looking for Carter, but he can't. But watch Eatman right there, who was an all-world player in high school in Dayton and decided to go to goal. Out of a hold by B.J. Dickey. to the right. Well, let me tell you something. That young man has a very strong leg. And it was long enough. So the final play of the first half. UCLA outgained, but still very much in the football game. Michigan scoring a field goal by a I think it's kind of a conference. It was, it was my understanding from the Blue Bonnet Bowl people that we would have a 25 second clock and we practiced all week with it. I would have been fine without the 25 second clock, but I was instructed that we would have one and then the night of the game we get here and we don't have one, but that's not been a big deal. All right, what about the, the game itself in the, the game. second half? The big thing has been the game and uh, we have not played well and uh, I hope we play a lot better this half. We're still in this game, we may win it. All right, thank you, Terry. Head coach Terry Donahue, now up to Ray Scott. And the second half kickoff, Howard, will not be run back. Ali Haji Sheik, who put three points on the board by way of the field goal, plus the extra point following the game's only touchdown. The pass from Smith to Carter puts it into the end zone. What do you think, Lee? Well, I think what happened is Coach Donahue reminded his ball club that if they're not far behind, another thing, Ramsey is 16-6-1 since he started at quarterback at UCLA. He'll, he'll bring them back. UCLA 20 yard line. This is Nelson. Gets about three to four yards. It is hard to believe in looking at the first half statistics where UCLA was limited to five yards running. This is a team against top quality opposition, averaged over 200 yards a game running. I think the secret is that the Michigan defense has overwhelmed them so far with speed and quickness, but they'll get used to playing against it. Second and seven at the UCLA 23. Fumble. If the play was dead at the time of the fumble, it would have been short of a first down. It is ruled that he was not down. 
see the quarterback will go back and fake it. He's going to throw the ball, but watch. As he comes back there, they got everybody covered. Dinkins tries to give him, but there he takes off running. Now, this kid's a winner right there, Ramsey. He fumbles the ball. The 59 makes a great play right there. Dan Dufour. But meanwhile, we have an injured player. It will be UCLA first down at the UCLA 32-yard line. A Michigan player injured on the play. So, here at the Astrodome. In the blue bonnet bowl. The second half just underway. Michigan leading by that score. And will return right after these. In Illinois. Ever so careful. He'll be replaced by Mike Lemoran, the senior from Grafton, Wisconsin. First down, UCLA at the Bruin 32-yard line. Opening minute in the second half. Ramsey at quarterback, Bruno the fullback, Nelson the tailback. This is Nelson. And Nelson gets it out for about three yards. Michigan defenders who have played so very well in the first half are Caraway, Stinsich, and Osmond, the front three. Lemoran now in place of Thompson, Giergash, Boren, and Needham, the linebackers. Carpenter and Burgay at the corners, Bostick and Jackson, the safety men. Second down, seven. Curran in motion. Good play by cornerback Brian Carpenter, a Flint, Michigan senior. Good play, Lee. UCLA will send a man in motion, and the quarterback rolls out there. Brian Carpenter, number nine, who is the number one defensive man, man-for-man -man coverage, makes a great play. He makes a sensational play because he moves. Now watch, he'll get a great jump, almost intercepts the football. Carpenter is the number one defensive back for Michigan playing man-for-man -man coverage. He's an all-Big Ten second-team player. Third down, seven. The fake was to the tailback. hold on Jojo Tonso incomplete fourth down punt formation time for Kevin Bonafi that means it'll be Anthony Carter time Bonafi to punt oh good punt at the Michigan 22. Bumble. UCLA has it at the 20. Dan. The Don Rogers. Sacramento sophomore. The leading tackler for UCLA. Recovers Carter's fumble. This very few times has this ever happened. He takes his eye off the football. He doesn't catch it. And Rodgers makes a great play. Rodgers is supposed to be one of the best defensive backs in the country, and he's only a sophomore. Watch him. He's got his eyes on it real good, but this Astrodome lights a little bit of problem. He drops the ball when he tries to get away from Rodgers. You know, I've been watching that kid for three years. He never did that once against me. <laughs> Back live. The new fullback for UCLA, and you know of all the names, Lee, that I checked beforehand, I did not check. Tom, and I hope I pronounce this correctly, S-A-I-P-A-L-E, Siapali, I believe. Number 19. At any rate, he picked up six, four yards, second down six to the Michigan 16-yard line. Michigan leading 10 to nothing. Third quarter just underway. UCLA threatening. First by Al Sinsich. Loss in the play of about a yard. Howard David, what do you have in the way of the tally on the vote for the number one team? Before we get to that, Ray, Robert Thompson behind me, the injured Michigan player, just has a cramp. There's a likelihood he will be back. All right, Alabama still leads with 46,500 votes. Georgia, 39,000 plus. Clemson, 35. Nebraska with 28,700. Okay, thank you, Howard. Third and eight, UCLA, Michigan 18-yard line. 10 nothing. Michigan leading. Ramsey going to the end zone. He has a man there. Touchdown! JoJo Council. Coverage. 26 council makes a fake out. The quarterback pumps the ball. 
He draws him and throws a shot right in the corner. Perfect coverage, except Townsell gets behind him. Now, remember, I just said that number nine was the best Michigan man-for-man -man pass defender. And the extra point is good. Norm Johnson, who had missed a field goal in the first half, is on target with the extra point. And despite one-sided yardage in favor of Michigan, Michigan's lead is down to three. We'll be back after these messages from your local station. To the left. Now watch it. When he does that little fake like that and throws the ball into the corner, he fakes Carpenter right out of his position. Townsville makes the catch for a touchdown. Townsville's average 17.1 per catch. It is an outstanding receiver. He's only 5'8". For all of us small guys in the world, you see that? For Ramsey, 14 touchdown passes during the regular season. And for Townsville, that's his second touchdown pass of the season. Good kick. No return. That's one good way to keep it away from Anthony Carter. So Michigan now. And here's, here's Ramsey again. Now watch this. This is very important. Watch him fake right there. That gets Carpenter out of position. Now Townsend can get behind him. And it's a great execution. Just like I said, it was like a heavyweight boxer who hasn't knocked the guy out yet. UCLA is back in the ballgame 10-7. Now let's see how Michigan responds with 12.05 left to play in the third quarter. And Michigan's lead cut to three points, 10-7. Bean to the left, Carter to the right. Edwards the fullback, Woolfolk the tailback. Steve Smith is the quarterback. Here's Woolfolk getting outside. Head on by Walter Lang after a gain of about six. Wolfolk was over 100 yards in the first half. 124 on 14 carries in the first half. From Bozeman, Montana in late June. College Rodeo Finals on Ms. Lou. Second down, four at the Michigan 26. Wolfolk again. Might have lost the ball. Penalty flag down. Might have had a face mask penalty. Oh, Schenbeckler. The people will notice that chart he has. What coaches do, they take a lot of time looking at films and they put all their notes there. He's just checking his notes. is against UCLA. Incidentally, in the first half, Michigan was penalized 12 times for 118 yards. But now it's a major penalty that moves the ball to the Michigan 42. Face by the defense. First down. First down, Michigan at the Wolverine 42-yard line. Carter goes right, working against Jimmy Turner. Bean to the left. That was an excellent play by linebacker Blanchard Montgomery. Now you watch the quarterback give the ball of uh, Wolfolk here, but watch Montgomery, number 27. 6'2", 230, runs very quick. Makes a great shoestring tackle and keeps him from making long yardage. UCLA has changed their defensive scheme a little bit. When we get a chance here after one of these plays, would you get into a little bit of what they're doing to try right. and stop Michigan Lee? I'll show you exactly what they're doing. All right, second down eight, Michigan, Michigan 44. 11 minutes left, third quarter. New tailback. There goes Smith. He's a good runner. First down. UCLA 44 yard line. Number 16, Steve Smith. The quarterback will go back and fake the ball to Ricks. He's coming back to pass. They've got a blitz on. But watch this. He, you cannot coach the ability to run fast. And watch you run right by those guys. Excellent play. Ike Gordon made a good shot at him, but he was too quick. First down, Michigan at the UCLA 44-yard line. 10 to 7, Michigan leading, third quarter. Jimmy Turner. Well, that's 
the third pass that Carter has caught. Two in the first half for 64 yards. The quarterback automatic. He called this one on the line of scrimmage. He fakes it to 46. Riggs and throws a shot coming across in a post to Carter. Now watch Carter run right away from 32. Sullivan. That's great speed. That also was a very good play on a UCLA man not to hit him as he went out of bounds. Very good sportsmanship. Michigan coming back after the touchdown by UCLA. First down at the 23-yard line. This is Ricks, and a penalty flag is down. Ricks gets the throw about three yards, but a flag down. Now, usually a flag behind the line like that means holding, and that's what it is. Absolutely. Defensive change being made by UCLA. They're bringing in Mike Durden, a junior defensive back from La Mesa. Holding penalty moves the ball back to the UCLA 34-yard line. Michigan's offense in this drive is absolutely pure Michigan. They've got three All-American linemen. They're running the football with Wolf Wolfolk, and they're trying to throw the bomb to Carter. Absolutely. Here's the announcement. Holding by the offense. Still first down. Now Michigan must get to the 12-yard line of UCLA. So it is first and 22. noticed about UCLA now right on that play there they are getting very aggressive in their defense now strategically what have they done to make any changes well what, what they're doing now they're utilizing their quickness and watch the double team on the nose man but that's Eaton right there he's an outstanding defensive flavor Eatman is one of the greatest defensive linemen ever produced in the state of Ohio and he just whipped his man one-on-one -on -one. six six two hundred and sixty pounds 22 career starts in a row second down Still 22. There goes Wolfolk to the 28-yard line, where it will be third down and 16. Howard David. Raymond, you have seen this gentleman behind me many, many times before. Rock and Roland, who comes to where, where it is happening, All my right, friend. It's happening here. Ms. Lewis looking like a great network. I'd love to have my wife's hair look like that. Look like shock treatment. Rainbow too. All right. Hey, don't forget, coming up later on in the third quarter and early in the fourth quarter, we'll be picking and showing you the trainers of the year for 1981. Okay, Raymond. Third and 17 as Smith looks. He's going for Carter. Five. There were three <laughs> defenders with two cuts coming up to help out. Would you say that man is popular? Would you say the computer said they were going to try to throw the ball to Carter? They had five men around him, and he almost caught the football. It's fourth down. We're going to have a field goal attempt. By Ali Haji Sheik. A field goal attempt of 46 yards. With 8.31 left to play in the third quarter. whistle before the ball was snapped. I thought I heard a whistle. So die. Didn't you think it was a whistle? Yeah. Some of the players relaxed on the defense. I know that. A JoJo. And UCLA trailing by six. We'll put the ball in play at the Bruin 18-yard line. Allie Sheik. Kicks it. Watch him. All right. He gives the old signal there. Nice kick. Great kick. Here. Back to live action. First down. UCLA at the Bruin 18-yard line. Ramsey faked the pitch. Good catch by Carney. There had to be a mix-up in coverage there, wouldn't you say, Lee? What quarterback roll out there what way? The quarterback rolls out to his left, and all of a sudden, he looks back. He's going to fake a toss play, and he comes back, and there's absolutely no one in the area. That ball was in the air a half a day. Carney doing a good job of keeping his feet inbounds. Result, first down, UCLA, 34-yard line. Cephas is the fullback. Cephas struggles for about 
three to four yards. Frank Cephas, sophomore running back, Newark, Delaware. For UCLA, a second down and seven at the UCLA 37-yard line. Mike Young is a wide receiver now in place of Carney out to the right. Nelson. Good speed. And an excellent defensive play by Keith Bostick, the strong safety. Bostick really supports the run well here. By supporting we run, we mean that the strong safety comes back, watches for a pass, and comes up at the last minute. He's 6'1", 209 pounds, and very, very fine football player. Now Howell, who is a tight end, comes in the game, number 97, and lines up wide to the right. Carney is to the left on third and about two. The UCLA 42. Howell was in motion. And a first down. So UCLA now with back-to-back -back first downs. And gradually UCLA is getting its yardage total up to where it's now 121 yards. First down at the Bruin 47-yard line. 13 to 7, Michigan leading. 6.50 left to play. Watch 97 call the zoom blocker. He gets out of a 73, makes a great play. They come off the ball, and there's Nelson with a little quickness and jams away for a first down. Balance is the key word for the UCLA offense. Council in motion. Nelson gets it to about the 49, almost the 50, about a three-yard pickup. It'll be second down and seven. One nice thing that they do for us who are here covering this ball game, they keep a running total of the yardage, the first down, the timeouts remaining up on the scoreboard here at the Astrodome, and needless to say, it's much appreciated. Second and seven, the ball at the 50. Michigan 30, they found a soft spot in the middle of that secondary. We can see now why Ramsey had those great statistics. <laughs> Plus the fact, Ray, as he throws the ball here, you'll see Mike Ford, number 40, coming back. And here's Gar Garkett, and he throws the ball right smack through him to Carney. Bostic comes on him and makes a great tackle. But that was a well-conceived play. They sent one man deep and put a man underneath. First down at the Michigan 30. Penalty flag goes flying as Cephas gets a couple of yards. Tom Ramsey looking over toward Coach Terry Donahue. Against UCLA. Back to the 40. First down. And so now, as a result of the holding penalty, it is first and 20 at the Michigan 40. Five and a half minutes left to play in the third quarter, and you still can vote for your favorite team. It'll cost you 50 cents. Alabama's leading in that poll. Terry Moorhead is the new tailback. A screen to Cephas. A penalty flag down behind the line. of Louis Sharp, the great tackle for UCLA. I think he might have been called for holding. Okay, Ramsey comes by. Watch Louis Sharp right there. He'll grab a hold of him, man. You can't do that. It's a nice screen play to 46 Cephas, but it's no good because Sharp fell. So all of a sudden, the ball comes all the way back. Now remember, that's a spot foul. That's not from the line of scrimmage. That's from where the foul occurred. Holding, offense, still first down. All the way back to the UCLA 40-yard line. Okay, watch number 67, Sharp. He comes back here. The defensive man can hold him, but the offensive man cannot. You saw the blue shirt of defensive man hold him. You can do that. First and 39 at the UCLA 41. To 
the 31 yard line. Winston Carraway made the defensive play for Michigan. Number 63. All right, watch number 63 Carraway. He's the quickest lineman on the Michigan team. Now, he's not only the quickest, he was a linebacker, he was a middle guard, and a defensive tackle. I know we played against him. That's the quickest lineman on the Michigan football team, Garraway. It is second and 48. Defense gets about four yards. Third and 44. Mike Mason. Senior tackle from St. Joseph, Michigan, comes into the lineup. Wide receiver Cormac Carney comes in. Third and 44. Council in motion. There's Council. Oh boy, that could have been six. That could have been six. Then it is just fourth down. Watch Joe Townsend right here. He goes in motion. Now, the reason why you put a man in motion is so that the defensive secondary can't hit him. Usually by this way, he'll go right to the outside, cut in the seam, and there he goes. The ball is slightly overthrown, but a great try. Remember, that's the same kid that caught the touchdown pass. Fourth down. Carter drifting back inside the 15. There's a great punt back at the nine. Watch out. Exciting. He's Boy. exciting. Wow. Anthony Carter. So a good run back. Good punt by Bonafide. But Michigan has the ball and a six-point lead. 13 to 7. 311 left in the third quarter. We'll return to the Astrodome. UCLA, UCLA has done in the way of corrections here in the second half to try and stop the Michigan offense. What they've done is just added one more defensive lineman instead of a defensive back. They have decided, as I said at the beginning of the show, they better stop the Michigan run if they don't. They, what they've done is added five linemen now instead of four. That's all. Very simplistic, but very sound. Second down nine. Carter going to the outside. There's that speed. It's a first down run for Anthony Carter. Now what you'll see here is the quarterback will fake that play they've been running all the time. Remember, everybody goes and block, takes Wolfolk. All of a sudden, here comes Carter on the reverse, and that's Becker, the best pulling guard in the history of Michigan, leading his way, and that's Carter running as fast as he can, and Montgomery makes a good play to keep it to a, about a 15-yard game. First down as a result of Carter's run to the Michigan 37-yard line. First down and 10. Wolfolk for about seven yards from all of us at the Mislu Television Network. We would wish you and yours a very happy, a very prosperous, and hopefully a peaceful new year. Okay, if you'll watch the pulling guard here again, leader, Wolfolk takes off around the end and he cuts back. You'll see a great block there by Becker. Again, Becker. And, and number 17, Moransky, are great All-Americans on the right side. Gain of seven, second and three, Michigan 44. There goes Wolfolk again. He has a first down at the Michigan 49-yard line. That Michigan offensive line of Harris, Humphreys, Dixon, Becker, and Moransky is outstanding. They have three All-Americans in the offensive line, and I don't know if I've ever had a, an opportunity to see three All-Americans on the one line. Have you, Ray? No. And there is the trophy that'll be presented to the winner of this Blue Bonnet Bowl. The score, 13 to seven. Michigan leading, just 140 left to play in the third quarter. First down at the Wolverine 48 yard line. There's Carter at the 35 yard line of UCLA. He's continuing that amazing average over 15 yards every time he touches the football. Michigan, Michigan will fake the ball to Riggs, 46. You'll notice the quarterback sets back. He sets and he hits 
number one coming across the middle spot. If you people understand, when they fake the ball up in the middle, the linebackers step up, and that's why Carter's open behind them. First down at the UCLA 35-yard line. Good play from behind by Herb Eatman, the junior out of Dayton, Ohio. You described him, I think, as one of the outstanding defensive linemen to come out of the state of Ohio. Ever. He's a great football player in high school, and he's even a better football here. He's an all pac 10 second team, and again, 6'6", 260 pounds that can run. Ricks leaves the game. Wolfolk replaces him. Second down, eight at the UCLA 33. Only 30 seconds left in the third quarter. Here comes the pressure. There was Vince Bean, the sophomore out of Southfield, Michigan. And Michigan is on the move with a first down inside the UCLA 20. Watch the quarterback fake the ball to the tailback, and you'll see the tight end coming across. Now, they'll send Bean, number 6, 27 across. The number two receiver, great catch. 21.6 per catch. First and 10, Michigan, UCLA 18-yard line. Five seconds left, third quarter, the clock running. And this time, showing the versatility of this offense, fullback Stan Edwards gets about... Oh, maybe five yards. And that was the final play of the third quarter. The Blue Bonnet Bowl has reached the third quarter mark. Michigan 13, UCLA 7. We'll return to the Astrodome right after these messages. Ask me, what spark plug should I put in my Japanese car? I say, for short trips, you need a hot plug. Help stop misfiring. For long trips, a cold plug. It runs smooth at high speeds. Then I tell them, there's a marvelous plug for Japanese cars. It works like two plugs in one, hot and cold, because it has this longer power tip. Then I tell them something else. It's not Japanese. Smith on a carry on second and five, and a good defensive play by Brad Clemens a senior out of Auburn, Washington. All right, the quarterback will roll out number 16 here, Smith, and gets a good block, but Flemons makes a great play, number 99. This guy's an outstanding story right there, number 99. He had knee surgery on August 26th and played September 26th. The guy's got great courage. It is third and still five. There was no gain on that play. Now, Bishing is going to a one running back offense. Edwards is the only setback. Third and five at the UCLA 13. Carter at the 10. First down and goal to go at the five. All right, Michigan, watch the quarterback automatic. He comes back three steps and goes a quick pass to Carter. They had a blitz on, and he automatic in that play. Darden makes a good play just to hold him to that. But they had a blitz coming, and the quarterback threw the ball on an automatic. First automatic and means he gets up there, and he doesn't know what he's going to do, and all of a sudden he says, I'm going to throw the ball to you. First and goal at the UCLA 5. Fourth quarter just underway. Michigan 13, UCLA 7 from the Astrodome. Wolfolk to the outside. He has good speed. Didn't quite get it in. Stopped inside the one by cornerback Mike Durden. It'll be second and goal. Michigan goes to two tight ends right here. If you see Murkansky block the ball, and there's a great block by number 32, Edwards. See Carter block at number one? That's why I've always liked him. He's a two-time All-American. He will also block you. Second and goal just inside the UCLA one. Dunaway was in motion. Wolfolk gets it in. Touchdown, Michigan. Michigan's total offense yardage is now up to 360 and a 19-7 lead. And we have a 
UCLA player down. Watch Dunaway, number 88, comes across and blocks, starting the tailback, and he allows Edwards to pick up the inside guy, and Wolfolk makes it across for a touchdown. Michigan has been unbelievably successful in the fourth quarter against everybody this year, including Indiana, I might add. The injured player of UCLA still down. 19 to 7 is the score. The extra point try yet to come. 13.02 left to play in the ball game. We'll be back. This thief wants to steal the things that mean the world to you. Like your family's silver. Unfortunately, most homeowners' policies limit silver coverage to just $1,000. The Hartford can help by showing you ways to make sure your silver coverage keeps pace with its full value. To protect the things that mean the world to you, call an independent agent who represents the Hartford. Let us protect your world. Lots of motor oils talk protection and mileage. I want proof. Proof. New York taxis drove over a quarter million punishing miles with no oil-related failures. That's Havlin's supreme protection. Not bad, but... Proof. After a million miles of state trooper driving, no oil-related failures. That's Havlin Supreme Protection. No kidding. Proof. In fuel economy tests, it delivered improved mileage. Texaco Havlin Supreme. They've got the proof. The injured UCLA player apparently sustaining an injury to the right knee. This number partially obscure there. Is that 92? I believe it's number 92, linebacker Ike Gordon, a senior from Miami, Florida. Howard, where are you located right now? I have uh, reached the end zone. Normally, I would score and spike it, but since, <laughs> since I don't do that sort of thing anymore, um, Alabama is still leading in our poll, 70,000 votes. Georgia, 63,000 votes. Clemson, 54,000 votes. Nebraska, 42,000 votes. Over 215,000 votes have been cast. We still have a quarter to go in this football game. And keep in mind, Raymond, and Lee, maybe you remember it as well, preseason choice was Michigan to be the number one team in America. If they had started the season today, who knows? All right, Michigan is going for a two-point conversion. Leading by 12, 19 to seven, with 13.02 left in the game. Ricks is the tailback. Edwards is the fullback. Carter in motion. This is watch Carter. Him, watch him throw the ball or run it. He does not get into the end zone. Excellent defensive play. Blanchard Montgomery, mainly responsible. Along with Neil Delacono, a linebacker. All right, corner will come in motion. They'll toss him the ball. He has the option to run or throw. It's a great block by Edwards right there. 27 Montgomery, who is all over the field, makes a great play and stops him. That's a key play now because UCLA can still come back and win this ball game. 12 point lead for Michigan will return to the Astrodome after these messages from your local station. Part of them, and that's one of the reasons why the, the coaches are considering putting the ball back to the 35 yard line so that there'll be more action in kickoff returns. With 13.02 left to play in the game. UCLA down by 12. down UCLA at the 20 after the touchback. Carney comes out to the left. Jojo Townsell off to the right. <laughs> Ramsey. And nowhere to go. Every receiver was blanketed. And Mike Boren and Tony Osmond make the tackle. Of eight. I looked downfield Lee and I didn't see any receiver he could possibly throw to. Not only was it good coverage, Bourne, who's very, very quick from Columbus, came through and blitzed and got the quarterback. Excellent play by Bourne. Curran comes in motion on second and 18. Good toss. Quite enough for a first down to Willie Curran. Out of bounds beyond the 20. 
Watch the defense. As the man goes in motion, Bostic, number 13, will back up. Carter Carpenter backs up, and they give a little area there for the quarterback to throw the ball. A very smart play by UCLA. Don't try to make the whole ball of wax at one time. Make it one time at it. And then he had a penalty also. Yes. This will give UCLA a first down at the Bruin 38-yard line. Here's the referee. Personal foul. Defense. First down. For UCLA. Flanker Scott Heising. I hope I pronounced that name correctly. Has checked into the ball game. Number 88. Nelson to the outside. Good cut. Picks up about eight yards to the UCLA 46-yard line. We'll keep our eye on the clock. We still have 12 minutes left to play in the game. Michigan leading 19 to 7. What Coach Donahue is doing here is very, very intelligent in my foot. He's not panicking. There's plenty of time to move it up and try to get something on a scoreboard and come back into this ball game. Wide receiver Mike Young just carried in the play. Second and two at the UCLA 46. for first down is tailback Kevin Nelson. He's only a sophomore out of Los Angeles. His best rushing day was 152 yards against a good Arizona football team. What's your schedule look like next year non-conference league? Non-conference we get to go to Los Angeles, California. Instead of playing UCLA we're going to play the University of Southern California Trojans without Marcus Allen. You say that with a smile. <laughs> I voted for the Heisman Trophy the second game. I gave it to Marcus Allen. Great player. And a nice young man, I might add. First down, UCLA at the Bruin 48-yard line. Michigan led at halftime. 10 to nothing. UCLA scored on a pass from Ramsey to Townsville. Made it 10 to 7. Then 13-7. Now 19-7, Michigan. Backs are playing fairly loose, giving about seven yards off the line. There's a big tight end. I think that's the first pass tonight caught by Tim Reitman. He's everybody's All-American. That's the first pass he's caught because basically Michigan is, is taking him away at the beginning of the ball game. He's a great football player. He comes across the middle. Watch. Number 91. Osborne puts pressure on him. But the quarterback, Ramsey, gets the ball to Reitman, who's a, that's a 16-game streak keeps going. A consensus All-American, I may add. Gain almost five. Second and five at the Michigan 47-yard line. Less than 11 minutes to play in the game. Just a couple of yards for tailback Kevin Nelson. Every third down, of course, now takes on added importance, what with this being the fourth quarter. It's an interesting statistic here also that Michigan and UCLA will play in Ann Arbor in the third ball game next year. So we're getting a preview of it right here. Here's a big play. Third down, three and a half for a first down at the Michigan 45. Jojo Townsell. Boy, there was, boy, there was a great catch at the Michigan 36-yard line. You talk about an individual essence. Jojo goes down the field, makes a slight fake to the inside, and turns outside and makes a great catch. Now watch him go high. Now watch his eyes on the football. Great concentration for all you young people. See him follow that ball down? All you, and Carpenter makes a good reaction, but that could be the difference in this ball game right there. First down UCLA at the Michigan 36. Ten minutes left to play in the game. Curran goes in motion. There's the fullback. Short game, Frank Bruno. You know, people might say, why do they run the fullback in that situation? You couldn't see it, but Michigan has a tremendous tendency, once you get to the 35-yard line, to blitz. They send everybody after you, and they try to break one up the middle. Game, two yards. Second down, eight. You can still make your phone calls to vote for your number one college team. Alabama still leading. Second down, eight at the Michigan 34. 
Russell in motion. Three-man rush. And there is Carney. Down to the 12. Cormac Carney. And coming this up is, limping is guard. sensational camera work on RP. Watch. Carney come down the line of scrimmage. He'll fake to the outside and he'll come across the middle. He gets a great catch right there. Avoids Bostic, who missed the tackle. And there, 37, Tony Jackson comes back and makes a great play. The stop's a touchdown. Guard Mike Jolly came up limping. He's replaced by Blake Wingle. First down, UCLA at the Michigan 12. Nine minutes left in the game. 19-7, Michigan leading. To the eight yard line goes tailback Kevin Nelson. Do you have, do you have an update, Howard, on the voting? Raymond, the, the uh, totals are rather astounding. Alabama still leads with 78,000 votes. Georgia, 71,000 votes. 59,000 for Clemson, 45 for Nebraska. Unofficially, that's 270,000 votes have been cast thus far by the fans. Oh, by the way. Defensive left tackle, Joe Gary, number 53 of UCLA, is out of the game. He has an ankle injury. Michigan's defense stops Nelson for no gain. And coming up, yet another big third down play for UCLA. The last time, Ramsey went to his wide receiver, JoJo Townsell. Coach Donahue is going to have an interesting situation develop right here. If he doesn't make it, what does he do on fourth down? Looks like he's going to have to go for a touchdown. Remember, he has two downs to make this yardage. Third and six. Townsville to the right. Carney to the left. football game. And a Michigan player is down in the end zone. Tim Reitman is not only an outstanding football player, he is also an academic All-American. Norm Johnson will try for UCLA's 14th point. second quarter now has 204. We'll be back right after these messages. Tell to watch it. Carter will not run it out of the end zone. Watch it. When Michigan scores, I'll tell him. Now it'll be interesting to see what Coach Bo Schembecker decides after we find out what's on Howard Davis' mind. Ray, I talked to the UCLA bench. They told me that Terry Donahue closed the door in the locker room at halftime for the offensive team only. Apparently, it worked out. They've scored two touchdowns in the second half. Okay, Howard. First down, Michigan. Michigan 20. Edwards the fullback. Wolf off the tailback. Steve Smith all the way at quarterback. Wolf off. There he goes. Boy, he's having a big game. He's an outstanding runner. Now, what Michigan has done... To, this is like a game of checkers. Now you watch, they've got two tight ends in there now. They've added another end to balance the defense out, and Wolfolk is just running the daylight. Great blocking there. You notice the screen blocking by Moransky. He just got the man's face. Game, seven yards. Second down, three at the Michigan 27. Now, two tight ends, two wide receivers, one running back, Stan Edwards. Fake was to Edwards. Oh, wide open is Bean. Great play call and super oh. execution. What a tremendous call that was because everybody, including you and I, expected them to run the ball with Edwards. They threw the ball to Bean. You know, Bean's a tremendous long jumper and a track man. And a key Michigan first down at the Michigan 45. Among 
70 other academic All-Americans named by the College Sports Information Directors Association. Meanwhile, first down Michigan at the Michigan 44-yard line. Wolfolk to the weak side. Picks up about seven or eight yards. Of course, this is exactly what Michigan wanted to do. Make first downs, run the clock down. More of the academic All-Americans. Second down, three at the UCLA 47-yard line. Carter goes left. Bean comes to the right. 6.20 left in the game. 19-14, Michigan leading. down 38 yard line of UCLA Michigan now is over 400 total yards Michigan right, the quarterback will come back and hand the ball to Wolf but notice the lineman Dixon Dixon Becker Humphreys and those guys just blocking get away he makes a great cut and makes a tremendous run. They're going to give the ball to Wolfolk. There's no question about it now. First down at the UCLA 39-yard line. Less than six minutes remaining in the game now. Smith. Down for a first down at the UCLA 24-yard line. The mark of a good football team. When it must control the football, that it can't control the football. Michigan is doing just that. Delacono is coming in at a linebacking spot, number 39, a freshman linebacker out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, for UCLA. First down play coming up. Wolfolk. Penalty flag just now behind the play. Thrown by the referee. And big tackle Ed Moransky indicates it's against UCLA. The gain was about five yards. The ball is handed off to Wolko right there. And he'll grab his face mask yeah. right there. He didn't hold it very long, but I tell you, you don't have to hold it very long. Personal foul. Defense. First down. First down at the UCLA nine-yard line. Michigan with 421 yards total offense versus UCLA's 204. Michigan leading by five. The clock starts to run again. Just five minutes and ten seconds left to play. Smith still has it. Touchdown. second-leading runner this season. He averaged 4.9 yards a carry. I wouldn't say that tailback Butch Woolfolk is exuberant, but he just went up and patted one of the officials on the fanning. He just congratulated one of the officials. Watch, watch the quarterback. Nice fake there by him. He comes down the line of scrimmage. And Smith cuts it in. He's a great football player, tremendous baseball player, and a nice young man. I tried to get him to come to Indiana. I wish I would have got him to come to Indiana. Michigan 25, UCLA 14. I don't think I'd been up here, would you? And Michigan takes a time out. It's obvious Michigan is planning on going for a two-point conversion, which they tried after their second touchdown. So we have a timeout. We'll be returning to the Astrodome with five minutes left in the game. Michigan leading by 11 right after these messages. Navy flight operations, Hawaiian Islands. 155 is a go bird. And the green stripe runner. Bring up 155 on number two elevator. Wild top 28,000 feet. Alpha Hotel, your wind is down the deck at 28,000. Five minutes left. 
Curran and Townsville are deep. Michigan with 10 points in the first quarter, three in the third, 13 here in the fourth. UCLA scored us in the first half, seven in the third, seven in the fourth. Sheets kick. Curran will not run it out. So UCLA will start at the UCLA 20-yard line. All right. There's our man. <laughs> the team. <laughs> I wonder if he's got any more eligibility left. I can use him in Indiana. He's the Oilers manager. What a... All right, now watch the quarterback run the option. He fakes the ball at 32. Edwards comes down the line of scrimmage, and right from that point on, speed is the difference between winning and losing, and he's got it. That was Michigan's last touchdown. Of course, Michigan defensively knows that UCLA must go to the air. They can really tee off, as they did that time in the person of Tony Osmond, linebacker Mike Lemoran, Winfred Carraway, and a Michigan player is down. He's back to pass, but he's getting too much pressure there. Now Osmond makes a good play by holding him and tackling him high. So you don't let him go, and then everybody gets on him. UCLA is going to have to run a screen because there's too much pressure on that quarterback Ramsey right now. Meanwhile, a Michigan player down on that play with four minutes and 40 seconds left. The Pac-10 and the Big Ten. Two teams within an eyelash of winning their respective conferences. Meeting here in this annual renewal on New Year's Eve of the Blue Bonnet Bowl in Houston, Texas in the Astrodome. Well, the young man, sir, I'd like to say something about, you know, Coach Terry Donahue after this commercial, I'm sure. All right. We'll be back in the Astrodome. First, we suggest you watch this. Trying to hit JoJo Townsell. It'll be fourth down. Punt formation time for UCLA. That means that Mr. Excitement... Anthony Carter will have an opportunity to put on his show for us. That's what, what, a, what a great about. football player. Oh, he's a great footballer. He's got another year. He has a chance to be the first three-time All-American in Michigan in about 40 years. Fair catch, says Carter, at the Michigan 45-yard line. Now, let's see. Michigan players will we see. I saw Carter headed for the sidelines as if he would not be in this offensive lineup right now. You know, I was I was mentioned about Terry Downey. You know, Terry Downey is a 37-year-old football coach who has won over 65% of his ball games at UCLA. He's a great young coach, probably one of the most successful ones in America. He's taken UCLA to three bowl games already in his young career. I know he's disappointed right now, but they got a chance if they can come up with a big turnover here. to the left is Brockington. The tailback, we saw him, of course, throughout the game, and he's in now in place of Wolfolk, is Ricks. We have a new quarterback in the game, B.J. Dickey, a senior from Ottawa, Ohio, is now the quarterback. Now Carter and Bean check back in, the starting wide receivers. Last opportunity, folks, to vote for your choice of the number one college team. Alabama's been leading in the voting all evening long and will announce the winner of that poll before we leave the air. Which will be in just about three and a half minutes of playing time. Second down, 10. B.J. Dickey. Carter. First down. UCLA 39-yard line. Oh, is that Carter having a night? You can see why everybody in the Big Ten fears him so much. He's got great movement. He can come across the middle and catch the ball, and that takes... All right, now watch the quarterback. He'll fake the ball to that Ricks. He comes back. Dickey gets good protection by Becker, and the rest of the lineman throws the ball complete, right straight to Carter, who went down the field and doesn't get hurt. He's, a, he's an outstanding football player. 
Springer, number 68, is in a tackle instead of Moransky now. Meanwhile, the fullback goes up the middle. You know, Ray, it's almost over. I'd like to say something about Bo Schembeck, you know. Schembecker, Coach uh, Schembecker has been in seven consecutive bowl games, and he's won over 80% of the games he's coached. A magnificent record. Second down, two, 31-yard line of UCLA. Two and a half minutes left in the game. 26 to 14, Michigan. Here comes Ricks. Good cut. And that's a first down. Intelligent running by Lawrence Larry Ricks, junior running back out of Barberton, Ohio. I do see Ricks. He makes a good cut here. If you'll see him cut right back in here, Sullivan misses him, and he cuts back, and he leans for you. See that lunge? You can't coach that either. That was a great play on Ricks' part. Brockington is wide to the left. Bean to the right. First down to UCLA 25. There goes Ricks to the outside. Bumped out of bounds at the 21-yard line. By cornerback Walter Lang. Michigan will have a lot of these players back in the next year, Ray. I think they're going to be a, a national power again, it looks like. Tom Hassel, pullback out of Cincinnati, Ohio, is getting an opportunity to play right now. Number 48 at fullback. I think he was the, probably the difference between the two ball clubs, but Warfolk had as much to do with the victory as he did, and obviously Steve Smith was the engineer of it all. Rick Rogers, a freshman running back from Inkster, Michigan, is in the lineup now, number 38, lining up as tailback. He can run. You better watch this guy. Third and four. What did I tell you? First down around the 10-yard line, stopping the clock with 117 left in the game. Doesn't he look like Wolfolk? Only the raw different number? They got a machine. They clone him there. An awesome display. Michigan now with 475 yards of total offense. 24 first downs. Brockington goes to the left. Sim Nelson is wide to the right. is a keeper by quarterback B.J. Dickey, but a flag is down. That penalty flag stops the clock with 1.11 left in the game. A UCLA player is down. Illegal motion against Michigan. Incidentally, thank you, Bill Cousins, for being our spotter this evening and making certain that uh, some sort of order is maintained here in our television booth. Five-yard penalty against Michigan. Moves the ball back to the UCLA. Man in motion turned upfield too quickly. That was the voice of referee Dixon Holman. We'll tell you again, as an experiment tonight, seven officials are working this game. One additional official. All of the officials from the Southwest Conference. First, first down at the UCLA 15-yard line, and the clock is running again. Lourdes is in as an offensive lineman, a freshman from Chicago. 45 seconds left. This is Dickey on a keeper. 10, 5, 4 yard line. UCLA has played very well today. They could have come back in that ball game, but Michigan showed a lot of character, and that one drive was the difference, right? When UCLA closed the gap. 1914. Michigan put on a ball control drive and as it turned out put the game out of reach. 
14 seconds left. Dickey keeps. Touchdown with eight seconds left. Howard David, with only seconds remaining, you have some information for us. All right, uh, we're with Jim Armstead from Lever Brothers Makers of Shield, Deodorant, Soap, our most valuable player. This gentleman to my left, Butch Wolfolk. That's it. Butch, congratulations from Shield on winning most valuable player of the game. And a check was sent in your name to the Bowl Scholarship Fund. And here is your trophy. Congratulations, Butch. Big night for you. 186 yards, 27 carries, one touchdown. you got to feel happy about the way the season finishes for you. Hey, I'm very happy. I wanted to go out with a bang. I'm a senior. I would not play with these guys anymore. They're a great bunch of guys. I love them all. Hey, if, if I could break this trophy up and give it to 95 players on the team, I, I'm really happy. Thank you. That's about the only thing you haven't broken is that trophy tonight. Hey, hey I'm going to try to do my best. Okay, Butch. All right, thanks a lot. Lots of good luck. Sheik captures, caps a perfect night of kicking with another extra point. Most valuable player, Butch Wolfolk, senior, Westfield, New Jersey. The clock shows eight seconds remaining. Michigan 33, UCLA 14, as the Pac-10 and the Big Ten meet in the Blue Monocle. We'll be back. New quarterback in the game, Steve Fono. Interception, the final play of the game. Michigan's Carlton Rose. Big Ten against the UCLA Bruins. The Pacific Ten teams have won seven of the last eight games. Hello, everyone, and Happy New Year. I'm Dick Kenberg, and I'm working today with Merlin Olson, the Grand Marshal of this, the 94th Tournament of Roses Parade. And at the moment, as you can see, Merlin and his family are about to make the grand tour around this stadium and acknowledge the 104,000 fans. He joins an illustrious group, Bob Hope, John Wayne, President Ford, and others to be so honored. Right now, let's go to New York and Len Berman. Years ago, and leading the Michigan offense is number one, Anthony Carter, one of the most prolific receivers in college football history. A three-time All-American who averaged a touchdown every four receptions in 1982. And from the Pac-10, the UCLA Bruins, 9-1-1, one, and, one, and ranked fifth in the nation. Terry Donahue has played here, but never coached in the Rose Bowl. After seven seasons, he gets his chance today. And leading the potent Bruin offense is quarterback Tom Ramsey, the number one rated passer in major college football, and co-MVP in the Pac-10. Earlier this season, Tom Ramsey riddled the Michigan secondary for more than 300 yards. Ramsey Carter, Jim Beckler Donahue, UCLA and Michigan. Sports presents Rose Bowl 1983, a preview of the 69th Annual Rose Bowl. Brought to you by Toyota, who remind you it's a good feeling to buckle up for safety. By Kentucky Fried Chicken, we do chicken right. And by the investment firm of Smith Barney. They make money the old-fashioned way. They earn it. and sunshine, Michigan and UCLA in the Rose Bowl. 104,000 fans, a huge uh, birthday cake here in Pasadena. It's the 69th birthday of the granddaddy, and it figures to be a high-scoring game between the Big Ten Wolverines and UCLA from the Pac-10. The theme this year, rejoice. Oh, we can rejoice at the weather and what should prove to be a most interesting matchup. They've played three times now, counting this one, in this last year. Michigan dominated UCLA in last year's Blue Bonnet Bowl. Then last September in Ann Arbor, UCLA down 21-0, rallied up, set Michigan 31-27. to But this is the first time in the bowl. Now let's go to Bill McAtee. Of course, is a game of great tradition. UCLA and Michigan are two of the traditional powers in the Pac-10 and the Big Ten. But Terry Donahue is coaching here in the Rose Bowl for the first time. Bo Schimbeckler has been here six times, but won only once. And with the conferences becoming all the more balanced every year, how these teams got here this year was anything but traditional. To get a real perspective on this game, you have to go back a year and a day to Houston, Texas. New Year's Eve, 1981, the Blue Bonnet Bowl. And the Wolverines had things very much their own way, ripping the Bruins 33 to 14. But then September 25th, 1982, after Michigan had jumped out to a three-touchdown lead, UCLA stormed back 
Tom Ramsey threw for 311 yards and two touchdowns as the Bruins beat the Wolverines for the first time. For Michigan, their season came down to this play. Against the University of Illinois, the Wolverines stopped Dwight Beverly on fourth and goal, saving a touchdown that could have sent Ohio State here today. Michigan won it 16 to 10. UCLA's road was no easier, facing what looked like impossible odds. The final game of the season against USC, with the combination of Arizona State beating Arizona and Washington State beating Washington, it came down to this two-point conversion with no time left. The Bruins sacked SC quarterback Scott Tensley and won it 2019, which brings them here today for the first time since 1976. We're minutes away from the kickoff of the 1983 Rose Bowl. In a moment, a look at two of the stars. We'll be back. For the very first day of a new year, today from the Rose Bowl, it's performed by the University of Michigan Marching Band. Off the Michigan Wolverines and the UCLA Bruins. Merlin Olson joining us in our broadcast booth. We'll be back with the kickoff today. And here come the Michigan Wolverines. The maze of blue of Michigan, eight and three on the Big Ten year. They clinched. The championship the week before meeting rival Ohio State were upset in the final game by the Buckeyes and also lost earlier in the year in late September to UCLA. And interestingly, Michigan plays UCLA on its home field. For those of you who have not noted it, the Bruins, after a long relationship with the Coliseum in Los Angeles, this year moved their home field to this stadium, the Rose Bowl. So they're playing on their home turf. UCLA Bruins, and here they come. Terry Donahue's team, his best club, 9-1-1. One, one. They were tied by Arizona and lost 10-7 to, to Washington. Just a handful of points away from a perfect year for the Bruins. Merlin Olsen, some focal points. Dick, I think uh, the first thing we have to look for is whether the UCLA can control the great Anthony Carter and if they can control him and also control the Michigan rushing game. Michigan is, uh, is certainly one of the great ground control teams in the country. Tom Ramsey, on the other hand, uh, is going to try and have a hot day like he had before against them. Will his line give him time? Those are the questions we're going to be trying to answer, Dick. The Grand Marshal customarily is honored again by flipping the coin to decide who kicks off and receives. That honor has been handed off from Merlin Olson to his nine-year-old son, Nate. There's Nathan, handsomely attired. He's been practicing all week and flipping that commemorative yeah. coin. And here's a the great moment. The rose is the head. The replica of the stadium is the tail. All right. Nathan Olson is going to flip the coin. You Nathan call it the air, and he's going, he going, going to let it fall it, on the ground. OK, Nathan. Head. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it is a head. 
you, are, and you get this coin, and you will be presented, each one of you, with a commemorative coin to keep. You are going President to receive, President of the 94th right? Tournament of Roses, Norton Hamlin, you saw. You fellas must congratulating the captains from both sides. Okay, All the captains will receive way. copies of those way, coins. And, of course, Michigan won the toss. They're electing to receive. UCLA will be kicking off. Referee and this mixed crew of Big Ten and Pac-10 officials. Referee John Presley has the teams ready to go and we'll be back with this, the 69th Rose Bowl game after these messages from your local station. Sunday, the Voyagers land in Rome and become reluctant gladiators. Then meet Poncha's new partner. You can call me Curve. On chips. Air Cal, just watch us grow. Air Cal adds more flights from San Francisco, Oakland, San Jose, and Sacramento to Southern California for as little as... Sedena, Michigan, the only team to beat a Pacific 10 entry in this Rose Bowl in the last eight innings as the West Coast has dominated 7-1, and one, and they've won 11 of the last 13 after it was the Big 10 that was overwhelmingly the winner in the early years of the pack started after World War II. Nick, we've talked about the two players we're going to watch most, Anthony Carter and and Tom Ramsey but in talking to the two coaches I think the thing that's on their mind is how much psychological advantage Michigan gets from that earlier loss to UCLA that's been bothering Terry Donahue as he prepared and of course Bo Schembechler has whipped his Wolverines with that reminder kicking off Ken Potter number four for UCLA they have two place kickers John Lee tries most of the extra points in goals and deep to return Anthony Carter on the near side and freshman Steve Johnson on the far side 70 degrees at kickoff and we're underway Potter moves it out of the end zone so the Wolverines will open at their 20 yard line the maize and blue eight and three on the year and on offense for Michigan. Steve Smith is the quarterback. Freshman Dan Rice at fullback. Lawrence Ricks, 1,300 yards rushing on the year. All Big Ten performer. Vince Bean at one split end position. The All-American three times. Anthony Carter. Craig Dunaway the tight end. On the first play, it's Ricks. Make a one-yard game. Lee Knowles, number 85. One of the inside backers for UCLA with a hit. The line for the Michigan Wolverines and a couple of all Big Ten performers. There's one of them, left guard Stephen Humphreys. Dixon also made all Big Ten. Diorio, the other guard. Stringer a tackle. James at the other tackle spot. Second down and eight for Michigan. from Barberton, Ohio. Knowles again, reading the play, backed up by David Randall, number 64. Let's look at that defense for the Bruins, holding Michigan to just two yards gained on the first two rushes. There's an All-American potential, Carl Morgan in the middle, with Randall at one tackle and Barbie at the other. The backers, Montgomery, Knowles, and the outside, Leone and Delicono. Intended for Carter away by Lupe Sanchez and Michigan will have to kick. Montgomery, Noel, Delicano and Leone, the backers for UCLA, the deep back Sanchez who just made that defensive play, Jimmy Turner, Tom Sullivan, and the hitter, Don Rogers. Michigan this year has allowed the man to return a kick for the opposition no more than six yards. That's the longest return all year, six yards. Sanchez, on the other hand, who is going to return this kick, averaged over 15. Bracken's boot. High spiral. Sanchez gets about five or six to the 41-42 yard line. Sanchez. 42-yard punt, 7-yard return. The offense for UCLA. All-American Tom Ramsey. Second-team All-American Bruno and Andrews, the running backs, Carney, Townsell, and Bergman, the tight end. The offensive line in just a moment. 
Nelson starts in the backfield. That's a surprise. He's a good receiver. And that's Nelson number three breaking a tackle. He's out to about the 46 yard line. A gain of nearly five before number 50, Paul Gergash, can make the tackle. The line for UCLA features Wingle, Dubor, Williams, Eatman move from defense and love. Eatman moved uh, four games ago from defensive tackle to offensive tackle. Derek Terry Donahue feels a very important change has helped the running game for UCLA. From the 45. Not much there has tripped up is Danny Andrews, number 24 at the 48 yard line. It'll be third and nearly four. The defense for Michigan. Tough against the run. Sensich is the nose guard with Caraway and Brooks at the tackles. Good Gash and Bourne, the two leading tacklers inside. Thompson, the good rush man, and Rose are the outside backers. With Bostic, he is an all Big Ten performer. Cooper, Body, and Burga, the deep pool. Third and four, UCLA at its 48. Ramsey's first throw of the game. Completes it. And I don't believe enough for a first down at the Michigan 49-yard line. It appeared to be Bergman, the tight end. One of the things that Tom Ramsey does so well is to scramble out of trouble. He's running against the grain, has to throw against his strength here, but puts the ball on target at the last second, gets it into the hands of the receiver, but it's short. They won't get the first down, they'll have to kick it away. That was Kevin Brooks, number 52, that pressured Ramsey. Kevin Unifay, sophomore from Tulare, California. There is his average on the season, 42 and a half. Carter, the All-American back at the 13-yard line. Beautiful spiral. Carter's going to field it at the three-yard line. Runs into his own man, and now he has blockers. And if it weren't for a lot of white shooters, his own teammates, he had a pass on the far sidelines. He could have gone all the way. 46-yard punt. Seven-yard return for Carter. Michigan will have the football deep in its own end with 11.42 remaining in the first period. This 1983 Rose Bowl game brought to you by Toyota reminds you that it's a good feeling to buckle up for safety. By Goodyear, makers of Arriva, the all-season radial. By Sharp Electronics Corporation, from Sharp Minds come Sharp Products. And by Lowenbrow, when you want the taste of a truly great beer, there's really only one. Tonight, let it be Lowenbrow. Michigan and UCLA, each with a possession, unable to move the ball. Now with 11.42 remaining in the first quarter, Michigan starts from its own nine-yard line. Lawrence Ricks outside, 15, 20, and bucked out of bounds. The first down at 25. First down, 15 yards for Ricks. Lawrence Ricks, the number one producer for the ground game of Michigan. They wanted to bounce him outside here. They did. They paid a price for it. He showed you some fine speed as he turns it up, picks up an easy first down, gets a few extra yards before he's rolled out of bounds. Looking at it from ground level now, you see the move outside. Blanchard Montgomery, the man that pushed him outside, a miss there by Sullivan. Excellent play. From the 25, they give it to the fullback, Rice, and there's not much there at all. Eugene Leone, number 33 from Ambler, Pennsylvania. Lee Knowles from Huntington Beach, California, the tacklers. Give you an idea of how important Ricks is to that ground game. Carries the ball 45% of the time for Michigan. Makes 48% of their rushing yardage. 1,300 yards for Ricks. Bo Shem Butler, uh, interestingly, from Barberton, Ohio, and Ricks from the same hometown. Second and ten. They love to go to him. Of course, you know that they're going to be double covering Carter, which opens some space for the big tight end down the middle. And Bo Schembechler's offense quick to take advantage of that. You see Dunaway breaking off the line. Single coverage there from Lee Knowles. Knowles stepped outside, gave Dunaway a little too much room on the inside, and a fine pass from Steve Smith. Michigan starting from its 10, now has a first down at the Wolverine 43. Ricks breaking tackles near the 48. 
Montgomery, number 27, and Lupe Sanchez collaborated on the stop. Lawrence Ricks, a powerful running back. Wears uh, shoulder pads uh, you'd normally see on a, an offensive guard. Not that big a man, but great power in his lower body. Went to the same high school as Billy Taylor was a fine running back for Michigan. Early 70s. Ricks again. Top right at the line of scrimmage at the 48. Mike Barbie, number 89 from Sacramento, made the stop. Dick, if Michigan had their way today, they would take the football and grind down the field as many times as possible. Control the football. They don't want UCLA and Tom Ramage to have a chance to hold the ball and get it in the air. They'd like to eat the clock, go down, and put some points on the board. That's part of the interest in this game. You have Bo Schembechler who likes to run it, likes to stop the run. And Tom Ramsey and the UCLA offense, obviously a great passing team. Under a blitz, he gets it away and drops. The perfect throw by Steve Smith, who was pressured hard by Blanchard Montgomery, number 27. A stunt going on on the inside. Montgomery, the linebacker, coming wide open. You'll see Montgomery coming from the backside right there. Smith just catching a glimpse out of the corner of his eye. Delivered that ball on target. What an excellent pass under pressure. But the, the receiver simply could not hang on to it. Rogers, the man who, who dropped the football. Lupe Sanchez at his 11-yard line is Don Bracken, who owns the Rose Bowl record for the longest punt two years ago. Dick won 73 yards. Fair catch and in a crowd. Ooh. A good job by Sanchez at the 21-yard <laughs> line. Sanchez unafraid as he raced in there. That could have spelled disaster, but he pulled it off. Timeout, nine minutes and 29 seconds. Remaining in the first quarter here at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. The Wolverines and the Bruins, no score. Tournament of Roses, rejoice, and we were all happy for you. I'm proud. Well, it's been an exciting day, but a very long day. Uh, and it's going to get a lot longer, but we've got a lot of excitement on the field, and that gives me all kinds of energy. I'm looking forward to seeing this game. Can't even pick up his right arm. He's been waving it for five and a half miles, and some million people along the parade route. Tom Ramsey, the quarterback, has played throughout his life in the shadows of Jack Elway, the All-American from Stanford. And this year, came into his own. Hips Appears his tight end, Bergman, across the way. Paul Bergman from Canoga Park, California. Ramsey's so very quick. He uses his feet. Watch how quickly he gets back to set this one up. Pure pass play, reading his tight end. He had another receiver downfield. Could see that he was not going to get the shot open and rifled it outside. Put it in perfect position. Five yards in the play. The eye this time, Nelson. He has a first down at the 36-yard line. Kevin Nelson, the younger brother of the Minnesota Vikings, rookie Darren Nelson, who was an All-American at Stanford. Ten yards for the junior from Los Angeles. Dick will see a lot of backs alternating for UCLA. Nelson, one of them. The reason for that is that Coach Donahue doesn't feel that he has a dominant back, and he's got a lot of small backs, 5'10", 194 pounds, but not really a, a number 53, the nose guard from Cleveland. One of the reasons that UCLA has played so well is because of the reactions of this young man, number 14, Ramsey. Look at that. Should have been knocked off his feet. Managed to get back to the line of scrimmage. I guarantee you those are some of the toughest yards in football. He did it, he did it with great class. And give 48 Tom Hassel credit for pressure on Ramsey. Second and 10. as Kevin Brooks from Detroit, Michigan. Number 52, Matt Bruno, head on. Well, put on your helmets at home. As Ramsey goes back, he'll look downfield, no receiver open, a little finesse pass to the outside. Number 42, Bruno. Now prepare for the crash, folks. Here it comes, right there. Oof, brutal. Kevin Brooks, number 52, a converted linebacker, flying to the outside. A big man, six foot seven, 220 pounds, with 4'7 speed. Look out. Ramsey is three for three, but for only 11 yards. Get up, get up. Plenty of time. Complete 
the town cell at the Michigan 45. First down. Jojo Townsell, an extraordinary receiver at the college level, has a great feel for patterns. Look at him. Look for the opening in that in that secondary, and has great hands, great concentration on the ball. Has made some catches during this year that are truly outsiding, and Ramsey knows how to get that ball into his hands. Number 57, Tim Anderson made the tackle at the Michigan 45, UCLA and Wolverine territory for the first time. 6:48 left, first quarter. Tight end Paul Bergman. He's all the way to the 27 yard line. 18 yards on that pickup, Dick. And one of the things that really impresses me about Ramsey is his ability to read the defenses and to get the ball to the target, either with the right kind of finesse or, in that case, the right kind of zip. That was a pattern that had to be zipped in to big Paul Bergman, and he just laid it in there like a fastball. Come on, defense. Ramsey now five for five, hitting Townsell for 16, and now 18 for Bergman. Deepest penetration by either team, a quarterback draw. Ramsey to the 23, extricated himself from the grasp of number 52. Kevin Brooks, and finally the tackle by Winfred Caraway, 63. In today's game, Toyota will present a special trophy and a $1,000 scholarship to the most valuable players. Late in the telecast, we'll let you know who those outstanding stars from Michigan and UCLA are. I think that was a page out of Michigan's playbook. They love to run that quarterback draw. Ramsey trying to give them some of their same medicine. Second and five. Andrews, no hold off right tackle, so he made a nice little slide inside to the 20, short of the first down by two, maybe two and a half. Al Sensich made the stop. A lot of responsibility for Sensich, nose tackle. He's got to crack that cup. One of the differences in this team is Danny Andrews and the rushing game. When they played earlier, when these two teams played earlier, UCLA was not able to rush the ball. It looks like they're being able to get some success in the running game today. That's, that's not good news for Michigan fans. Big play. Third down, about two and a half. Ramsey. Oh, wide open is Bergman, and he's all the way to the 10 yard line. It appears Michigan's deep defense looking for the speed of Townsell, and Bergman slipping in underneath. The box publicized deep threat to Bonds. They're shutting that off. They're hoping to, to let these go underneath and then come up and knock the ball loose. But they're not getting it loose for Bergman there. One reason that Bergman was so wide open, look at the coverage and the pressure they're putting on Townsell down deep. Townsell breaking to the outside. Carmack Carney breaking to the inside on the other side of the field. But they're hitting him short. They could get a first down by inches without a touchdown. Frank Cephas, number 46, his initial carry. Junior from Newark, Delaware. Gets the ball to about the eight-yard line. Kevin Brooks being attended on the Michigan sideline. Looks like he may have gotten a finger in the eye, Dick, the way they're checking him there. Terry Donahue's UCLA Bruins have moved from that punt return position after Lupe Sanchez gambles coming up for the ball that gathered in at the 21-yard line, steadily moving downfield. Now second and eight for the first down, eight and a half for a touchdown. Andrews dragged down for a loss by Paul Gergash, number 50, the all-Big Ten linebacker. I asked Tom Ramsey to name the players that impressed him most on this Michigan defense. The first name he gave me was Paul Gergash. He said he's so quick on the inside, such a good nose for the football. It's very tough to fool him. You saw that there as he read the play very quickly and then ran right with the running back to knock him down. From Lakewood, Ohio, Gergash, 35 consecutive starts. Now a pass situation. Third down. chance to sense 
this play coming right into your living room, coming from right to left across your screen. Now you'll see the receiver coming in at the contact right there, well ahead of the ball. Mark Ferguson, the man that grabbed him, pulled him down. Tom Ramsey being given the option here, and obviously will take it. It'll put them in a good position. Very Defensive close to pass the interference. Line. First down. Let's look at it again. The rules, again, the same. You simply cannot make contact with that receiver when the ball is in the air before he has a chance to take the ball. No question about it. And Ramsey, how did he feel about it? Well, we'll give you a look. Quarterback will take the yardage anywhere they can get it. Ramsey said, hey, you can't hit a front of him. You can't let him get away with that. Okay. Right. First and goal outside the two. This is Nelson. He has. Defensive pursuit, Gergash and Thompson when it appeared that Nelson had the score. Robert Thompson, number 99, Gergash, number 50 there, but it's really Thompson. No, it isn't. It's, it's Gergash from the inside with a polished job by Thompson to get him out of bounds, but he's very close. About three quarters of a yard to go. And this is where UCLA will miss one of their tight ends. Burness Scott, number 37, came in late, and they could see they're going to not get the playoff in time, so Ramsey elects to call a timeout with a ball inside the one-yard line and no score. 334 left first quarter. Mountains offering a backdrop on the 70-degree day. Happy New Year from Pasadena. Tom Ramsey, the quarterback, less than a yard from a UCLA touchdown in this scoreless first quarter. And no signal yet. They say they stopped him just shy of that final strike. Now. Ramsey able to slide in under the stack there. Referee not willing to call it until he saw where Ramsey ended up. A great second effort by Ramsey as he just pushes and pushes. Caraway and Anderson, the two men pushing on him there, gets good, a good shot from Dan DeFore, his center, and slides over the top. Number 75, Eatman in there, driving people back. Good play for the Bruins. Let's see if they can make it 7-0. Neuheisel, number 10, will hold for John Lee, Korean born, place kicker. New Eisel separated his shoulder in the final game of the season against the University of Southern California, but is able to hold. Lee's try is perfect. And with three minutes and 27 seconds remaining in the first quarter, UCLA Bruins of the Pacific 10 have taken the lead. 7 0, 327 remaining, first period. The race to office automation. Some will wait for tomorrow. But for those who choose Wang, today it'll be business in the fast lane. Because Wang has the computer technology and worldwide resources to automate your entire office. 13 plays, 79 yards for UCLA in a bit more than six minutes. Ramsey, who scored six touchdowns on the ground himself during the course of the year, with a payoff, and UCLA leads 7 to nothing. Anthony Carter and Steve Jones.